All right, guys, I want to share with you a watch that kind of just brings out the passion or the joy, at least for me, in this hobby. Um, and there's it's part of the whole story, but this one's just really fun and really cool looking. And it goes back to basically when I was about my later year of high school when these came out in the early 90s. This is the Casio Surfing Timer, or the part number on this one's a DW dash 402 using the module 906 but you can see it has a lot of colorful things going on there with the uh, screen and it's you know not symmetrical at all uh, but before we get into that i want to say uh props to another youtuber slash instagram guy uh watch and carry so it's watch dash n dash carry and that's really how i actually landed on this because i was looking at modifying these world timers so i found his video and he goes through and explains and shows in detail on how to do these mods to these world timers and even beyond like the simple things that i've done here he goes on and shows how to do a negative display conversion on these which is very very cool but in searching his channel i noticed this exact well not this watch but this exact model and strap option and for some reason I instantly connected with it um, and I went on a mission to basically replicate exactly what he had done which I had not seen anywhere else so I felt a little weird totally just stealing his uh, design cues or creation with you know this combo but I couldn't help myself I liked it too much I had to do it I had to own that combo so I scoured eBay and Instagram and everywhere I could look these are very tricky to find especially in pretty good condition and this one is I would classify in pretty good condition it is not rough by any means but it is certainly used and we'll do some close-ups and I'll show you what I mean by that you can find them occasionally new old stock or very clean almost barn find ish uh, but it's it's pretty rare. Um, these these watches were not that expensive when they were out initially, and they got worn. So to see them even in this condition, considering it's from say like about ninety one or something like that, uh, I think I feel like I lucked out a little bit. So you can see it has a pretty standard case back here, just four screws, similar uh, structure of a lot of inexpensive Casios. Um, I have not taken this one apart. So I have no idea the battery uh, situation on this or anything like that. And we'll talk about the strap in a moment. But you can see it's, it's pretty much a some sort of pretty solid plastic or resin type case. Um, and you can confirm that by looking at this bottom lug here. You can see it's, it's kind of chipped out right there. Uh, probably from somebody messing with a strap change or something like that. But I really like the... Uh, the design and the build of this we'll talk about the size here in a moment as you're looking at that screen you can see there's some scratches on there and the bezels you know scratched up a bit but uh, it still looks really cool i like the a little bit of patina that is on this I'm, I'm totally happy with that i would have been ecstatic to find a new old stock but this um i'm happy with what i have here and i'm not looking for another one to like sell this one and then have a new old stock i'm 100 percent happy with this particular watch so size on this it's a little tricky i'll try to explain what i mean by that because typically when i measure some of these watches when they have weird cases like this i'm going to give you a real dimension so if you go from here to here you're looking at 44.25 but it's not a 44 millimeter watch at all. So to be fair and measure it like we measure all other watches, excluding crown guards, then if you measure basically from here to here, so you're still getting the case, but minus the crown guards, it is like 40.75. So 40 and three quarter mil. So now you're talking close to that really um, sweet spot that I like that 40 and a half to 41 right in there. It's just such a great size watch and then the lug to lug on this is 47 so it's nice to see it a little bit longer like that instead of um i have had some of the well like this one here which i may or may not do a video on is much smaller it's it's a smaller case and way too short of lug to lug for me 
it might work uh, really well for a lot of other people. The thickness on this is about 10 and 3 quarter mil and the lug width is a 20 mil so you're going to have a ton of strap options with this. Um, you know, NATO's or I think it comes on like a standard, you know, like Casio type plastic rubber strap or something. That's what it normally would come on. I really like it on this leather. Um, I could also see maybe like on a, like Erica's original type strap, something like that. One of those elastic straps, this would be killer on because it is pretty light um, and it wears great. But um, let's see, let's, let's talk about the strap real quick before I forget. This is a Zurich, I believe is how it's pronounced. I could be wrong. It's Z-E-R-I-C. I'll put a link in the description, but it is actually a uh, Horween leather material. It has the quick release spring bars on there. I paid $60 for it, and I absolutely love it. I love the way this is um, configured here. I don't know what you call that, like sti like padded, but then stitched across, because um, I'm typically not a fan of padded watches, or uh, straps, excuse me. So um, this one is cool. And there's, there's other colors, too. I'll probably order a couple of more uh, from this website. I think it's watches.com and then they have a bunch of different stuff, watches and straps, but then you get over to the Zurich section and then you can get into the straps. They have a bunch of different ones to choose from that look great. So let me pop this on wrist and then I can just blast through the functions real quick. There's no illumination on this. There's no, uh, there's no loom and there's no light on it, but you can see there on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, I really like the way it wears. I probably have it a little bit too tight right there, so it's pushing my skin in a little bit. But um, yeah, I think it wears great. Super happy with the purchase and the build, if you can call it a build, doing a strap change. I guess that's kind of a mod, uh, entry level mod. But if we look at the functions on this, let's zoom in so you can. It's just so fun to see that blue. It's a really deep, dark blue. And then you have the red with all the gold tones. And you can see. So you have the one through five counter up there, and then once it completes its course, it'll go, it'll fill one of the other blue squares. So there's your five, and then it'll go to 10, and then so on and so forth. So you can see you have your month up there, January 28th, Tuesday, and I have it in the 24 hour clock. There's an adjust button here for adjusting things. Very uh, intuitive. I mean, if you're used to Casio, it's pretty simple. So you can cycle through the mode button here. You have your countdown timer. So it's set up for a five minute. And I believe this is how you, because it lit up the uh, surf function there in that dial. I have no idea how the surf timing function of this works. And I don't really care because I don't surf. Um, and then there's a stopwatch function. The stopwatch that is actually pretty cool because see what it does to the... Um, uh, track up there and then as it hits five it actually starts to fill in that top one so you can uh, do I'm sure you can probably do a lapse and all that other stuff uh, but it's 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 pretty cool it's very um, interactive if that makes sense so you can stop it clear it and then you can cycle back around you have your alarm um, I have not played with that I, I have no idea how loud it is but and there's that if you just want to bounce back to the a.m. p.m. You can switch back there, so you can see there it's, it shows you that it's actually a PM function. For some reason, on these digital ones, I'm enjoying the 24-hour clock. I don't know. I, I didn't used to do that. This is something new that I've been doing uh, with a 24-hour clock on there. So, I don't know. makes it a little more fun for me. So, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that one with you. I also have this one. I'll do a separate standalone video on this one. This is the Casio... Um, they kind of call it the Skywalker. It's the DW400 and using a 905 module instead of a 906 that's in the surfing timer. But there was like, as far as I could tell, I didn't do a ton of research, but you can see where it says underneath Casio there, it says tacky and then there's almost like a space and then it says meter. I found two other versions of this exact same watch that is tacky meter all one word without that space. And then the must, must, most excuse me <laughs> sought after one is the skywalker so instead of saying tachymeter there it'll say skywalker um and those ones are actually very sought after mostly by you know it's pop culture type thing i mean these watches are you know definitely pop culture so very fun and good looking watches so i'm glad to have a pair of them and uh thanks to watch and carry for 
somehow out of on one of my late night um, searches stumbled across it. So, and then it set me on a uh, course of uh, tracking these things down. So hopefully you can find something, maybe not one of these, but maybe you can find something that stimulates that hunt, um, puts you into predator mode and you can go try to find your prey the watch that you didn't even know you wanted, but you stumble across it and then you just go on a research hunt and, uh, you know, a passion hunt and, and hopefully you can find something. It just helps bring joy, I think, to the hobby. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next vid.